So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract and visualize the basin specific surface water information using JRC Global Surface Water and HydroShare dataset in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So first we're going to filter the basin feature collection to select a specific basin using its unique identifier. So this is a unique identifier for this specific basin. So name of the specific basin is called Chennai Basin. So uh, it can be identified using this uh, high base ID of uh, 408002840. This is a unique identifier ID for this specific basin. So now let me explain about this uh, data set of HydroShed. So this is uh, the WWF HydroShed Basin uh, Level 8. The data availability from this particular year and the data provider. So this is the code to access this particular data set of uh, HydroShed basin of version 8 of uh, level 8 basin so the description is uh, hydroshed is a mapping product that provides uh, hydrographic information for regional and global scale application in a consistent format it offers a unique uh, it offers a suit of uh, geo referenced data set at uh, various uh, scales including a river network watershed boundaries uh, drainage direction and flow accumulation so the hydroshed is based on the elevation data obtained in 2000 by NASA's uh, shuttle uh, radar topography mission. So now let us explore this particular data here. So uh, in description, the first uh, digit one uh, re uh, digit represents the region Africa and two represents Europe and three represents Siberia, four represents Asia and Australia and South America. So you can able to visualize the four here represents Asia. So we are selecting specifically this particular uh, basin that is represents 4. So this is a belongs to this particular basin belongs to Asia. And you can go through the other data that is uh, this particular link will be given in the description. You can go, go through this data set here. So now uh, we created a variable called hydro basin. So equals to double e dot feature collection WWF hydroshed version 1 basin high base uh, 8 and uh, we created a variable called basin equals to in order to specifically select the basin of our choice, so I have selected a basin of uh, my choice of uh, Chennai Basin. So I have selected this particular basin using, uh, using this high base ID of uh, 408002840. So this particular data you can be go through it, uh, through the hydro HydroShed's uh, attribute table where the HydroShed ID will be given here. So you can access your basin of your choice and uh, you can uh, go through the all the surface water information using this uh, particular data set so next we have created the variable we have created basin equals to hydroshed dot filter double a dot filter dot eq high base id of this particular id and uh, we created a variable called geometry equals to basin jo basin dot geometry function so the basin here relay uh, you can able to see that this uh, represent this particular variable and next we're going to center this particular uh, uh, basin so for that we define mapped or center object in geometry uh, with the zoom level of 10 so the geometry here represents this particular variable that is our study area that is Chennai basin and next we're going to load our JRC global surface water data sets which provides information about the occurrence of surface water on global scale so for that we defined a variable called GSW equals to double e dot image JRC GSW14 and uh, global surface water and next uh, to uh, water extraction and clipping so for that we defined uh, this particular variable to extract the geometry of the selected basin so we defined a variable called water equals to uh, gsw dot select max extent so max extent is uh, used for our uh, the boundary of our selected basin and next uh, to clip the water occurrence data to an extent of the selected basin for that we defined a variable called clipped equals to water dot clip geometry the geometry here represents our study area and water here represents our this particular variable that is our basin uh, the geometry uh, boundary of our selected basin and uh, next for visualization of the water occurrence uh, we define a visualization parameter for uh, displaying the water occurrence where the zero represents no water and one represents the water presence so it uses the palettes from uh, white to blue so the white here represents no water and the blue here represents the occurrence of water you can able to visualize from this uh, image here so for that we defined a variable called visparams that is visualization parameter equals to 
we set a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 1. So the minimum value here represents no water and the maximum value of 1 here represents uh, the water, the occurrence of water. And color palettes we are using uh, is white and blue. So white represents no water and blue represents the occurrence of water. And next to add this layer into our earth engine, we defined map.add layer clipped. Uh, here clip refers to the study area boundary here. The clip refers to our study area boundary. And this params rep uh, represents our visualization parameter for our, for our uh, boundary and output the layer as surface water. And next we are going to data processing. So uh, to do unmasked, uh, unmask uh, function to replace the masked uh, pixel with zero and this avoids an extra pixel along the edges. And uh, for that we defined a variable called clipped equals to clip dot unmask. So zero represents our the rare area which represents the non water no water occurrence and uh, basically replace the masked uh, pixel with uh, zero to avoid an extra pixel along the edges. And next we have to perform our morpho uh, perform a morphological closing to fill the holes in the water bodies and en enhance the accuracy of water detection. In many cases uh, while running this particular data set we have uh, holes in this particular uh, water set here the water uh, data here. So in order to avoid that we are using the specific uh, uh, variable called the water processed equals to clipped and dot focal uh, max we are set to a radius of 30 and the units in meters and uh, kernel type is square and the focal minimum uh, we set a radius of 30 and units of meter and kernel type is in square. So uh, it basically it, uh, the closing the close the uh, fill holes in water body and en enhance the accuracy of our water detection for our specific basin called Chennai basin. And next uh, to vectorization of water bodies. So now we have to vectorize our water body. So to convert the, convert the process to water recurrence image into a vector polygon representing the water bodies within the basin boundaries. So for that we defined a variable called vector equals to water processed dot reduce to vector. So the water processed here represents this particular variable here where we perform the morphological closing to fill the ho fill holes in the water bodies. So we have defined a variable called vector equals to water process dot reduce to vectors. And next we are using a reducer double dot reduce dot count every function count every function and uh, geometry represents our study area that is our Chennai basin and scale is 30 and max pixel is 1 is to 10 power. 1 is to 10 power and uh, 8 connected is false. So this particular code will convert our uh, image into a vector polygon representing the water bodies within the basin boundaries. And next to define a visualization parameter for this uh, vectorized water body uh, and setting a color to blue we defined a variable called visparams equals to color we are giving a vectorized uh, water uh, bodies we are giving a blue color. And to add this layer in our earth engine, we defined map.add layer vector. So the uh, represents this particular variable here vector. This params represents this visualization parameter and uh, output the layer name as surface water polygons. So basically this code extracts the surface water information for the specific basin of your choice and process the data to enhance the uh, detection or water detection and visualize it on our uh, earth engine. So now uh, let us run this code, uh, go to this option called run script and click run script. So here you can able to visualize we have two different layer, one layer represents our surface water polygon that is vectorized data and next is our uh, surface water. So now let us visualize that. So first is let me turn off this particular. So you can able to visualize the surface water polygon for the specific study area. So it has uh, you can able to visualize it has taken out all the water bodies from this uh, specific study area. And next uh, we're going to visualize the second layer. Let me turn this off here. So this is our uh, the surface uh, surface water bodies of this uh, specific basin that is Chennai basin. You can visualize all the water uh, bodies within this basin here. And you can able to visualize uh, towards uh, in this part of the areas and towards the western part and towards southern part of this area has a lot of water bodies compared towards the northern uh, sector of this particular study area here. 
has a lower water recurrence compared to other part of the areas has a very high water recurrence. That is uh, basically due to the uh, large number of settlements. Uh, this particular area has a very large number of settlements. Let me turn to satellite mode here. And this particular area has uh, a very large number of settlements. You can able to observe here. So in this video I have shown you how to extract and visualize the basin specific surface water information using GRC Global Surface Water and HydroShare dataset in Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.